rent uh, protection law is very important to me, and this is something I've been very much involved with literally since before I could vote. The best way to prevent homelessness in New York is to make sure that we have a housing system where people can actually afford to live in their apartments. So what I have done consistently since I've been in the legislature is to support reforms which I'm hoping come to fruition this year because we don't we no longer have that other party uh, running the state senate. So I'll give you an example of a few of them and some of these bills I'm a co-sponsor of some of these bills are my my bills that are going to be a part of a large package of rent reform bills. Uh, one concerns MCI reform. MCIs are major capital improvements, such as when a, a new uh, boiler or roof or elevator is put into a building. The current law says that rather than the cost of the MCI being passed on to tenants as a temporary surcharge until it's recouped by the landlord, it is a permanent rent increase such that the landlord will be getting paid for that improvement forever and ever. Meaning if the landlord spends a million dollars on a, a new boiler and roof, that the landlord could end up recouping $5 million over time. So many of us believe that perhaps, perhaps the landlord should recoup the money that they invest to improve the building, and some people think the answer to that is no, but they certainly should get a windfall profit, profit um, and get paid by, uh, forever for that so that the increase in rent remains in the rent base and every future increase is compounded on that. Likewise, in, uh, individual apartment uh, improvements such as uh, tearing out the kitchen and the bathroom and putting in new fixtures and so on and so forth. Those are two of the ways that landlords can uh, secure dramatic increases in rent. And unfortunately, what's happened in New York is this, and, and this is how I explain it. In the past 20 or so years, if you look at a graph of how rents have gone up in New York, and then you look at a graph of how homelessness has gone up, you would not be able to tell the two graphs apart because the single biggest contributor to the dramatic increase in homelessness in recent years has been the in huge increases in rent and the fact that there are so many different ways for a landlord to get a rent increase. So the, the increase that a landlord gets for a stabilized apartment each year, which could be a couple of percent, sometimes it's one, sometimes it's four, whatever the rent guidelines board decides, doesn't tell the whole picture. There are so many other ways rents go up. Uh, and we have a whole package of bills to try to address this situation. I think people have, deserve to make a profit. If they're investing money, I have no problem with them making a profit. What I have a problem with are windfall profits that make some people homeless and make other people have to choose between paying rent and taking their medications. And so this year, we are hoping to address those issues, and I'm confident that we are going to take care of a whole bunch of them.